a travel advisory has been issued by the Indian government urging its citizens to avoid travelling to Myanmar's Rakhine state amid escalating violence and security concerns. This comes as Myanmar continues to grapple with unrest following a military coup in February of 2021. In its first advisory since the surge in violence, the Indian Ministry of External Affairs or MEA highlighted the deteriorating conditions, disruptions in telecommunications, including landlines, and a severe scarcity of essential commodities in the Rakhine state. The advisory warns all Indian citizens to refrain from travelling to Rakhine and strongly advises those already present to leave immediately. This move reflects growing concerns over the safety of individuals amid ongoing hostilities between armed ethnic groups and the Myanmarese military. Myanmar has been witnessing widespread violent protests demanding the restoration of democracy since the military coup on February 1st of 2021. The Rakhine state, along with several other regions, has experienced intense fighting, raising alarm not only within Myanmar but also in neighbouring countries like India. Last week, the External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Randhi Jaiswal expressed India's concern over the deteriorating situation in Myanmar. He said that as a neighbouring country and a friend of Myanmar, India has long been advocating for a complete cessation of violence and Myanmar's transition towards inclusive federal democracy. The strategic proximity of Myanmar as one of India's neighbours, sharing a 1,640 km border with several northeastern states including militancy hit Nagaland and Manipur, raises apprehensions about the potential security ramifications. The Myanmarese military's use of airstrikes against opponents and armed groups further intensifies concerns, prompting the Indian government to take proactive measures to safeguard its citizens. As the situation in Myanmar remains fluid, the Indian government emphasizes the importance of heeding the travel advisory to ensure the safety and well-being of its citizens.